Greetings, my name is Yolanda Durfield and I am the president of the Torch of Wisdom Foundation. I am standing here in the Torch of Wisdom headquarters located in beautiful Southfield, Michigan. We are excited today because we want to expose you to our tax-exempt 501c3 public charity whose focus is to host, fund, and support programs encompassing our three-point thrust, scholarship, cultural arts, and community enrichment. Our mantra and core belief is that we are changing tomorrow today. Greetings, my name is Lasagna Chapel, and I'm the program director for the Torch of Wisdom Foundation. I'm excited to share with you a fantastic program that we have called Young Women for Change. What is Young Women for Change? Well, it's a program that's executed in partnership with the Torch of Wisdom Foundation, along with the Michigan Women's Foundation. Young Women for Change is really focused on a couple things. Primarily, making sure that girls develop a philanthropic mindset. That is, a mindset of giving back to the community. But here's one thing that we discuss. In order for girls to give to the community, it's so important that they invest in themselves. So we've developed a series of workshops that's focused in four key areas. What are the four key areas? Well, one is identity. It answers the question, who am I? The second area of focus is grieving. What obstacles must I overcome? The third area, well, it's focused on careers. And it answers the question, what can I do? And then the fourth and final area of the workshop series is focused on life skills. That's an exciting portion of the program because it really gives you the opportunity to take everything that you've learned and pull it together and apply it. And one of the things we want you and the other girls who join the program to think about is what's one area that you want to socially change? Where do you want to make impact? Once you've decided your social action project, the next thing you'll be tasked with is putting together a fundraiser in order to raise money. Once you raise the money, then you'll have the opportunity to give that money away. You will decide how those funds will be granted to other organizations and or other individuals. So in essence, it will help you to become philanthropic as well as develop a mindset of giving back. Hello, I am Dr. Lauren Jefferson and I serve as one of the co-chairs for the Oakland County Chapter of Young Women for Change. Um, as we began to plan for our year for Young Women for Change, we started to think about how with philanthropy, um, you first need to have a strong sense of self-identity in order to give back to the community. So when we decided to have the Who Am I conference, we decided to do that so that the girls can begin this thought process in bridging the gap between who are they as an individual and how they can understand themselves in order to be able to best serve their community. The day of the conference, um, the girls broke up into four workshops um, in small groups where they explored who am I emotionally and mentally, who am I physically, who am I sexually and in relationships, and then they did a workshop on wearing their crown, holding your head up so that you always know who you are and that you always carry yourself as a lady no matter who's looking and who's not looking. What was unique about this Who Am I conference was that it allowed the girls to be in a safe environment where they could openly express themselves to one another, to the presenters and workshop facilitators, um, so that they can have an open dialogue with free from judgment and free from being talked down upon, um, so that they could really begin to critically think about how to bridge the gap between self-identity and the needs of the community. Um, at the end of the day, they were really thinking about how they can use what they learned in order to address the issues in their community and not only in their community, but in their own homes, in their families, and how they can use those tools in order to reach others and really begin to bring about change. I was having a very hard time with people last year as far as bullying and not really having any friends and I really thought it was a great opportunity to get to know people and get to know myself more. 
What I enjoyed about the conference is the Ole Miss atmosphere, how I felt comfortable. I didn't feel pressure to answer any questions. I didn't feel the need to ask to excuse myself or anything like that. I felt like I could really be open. I felt like the other girls didn't judge me, even when we talked about some of the other things that were really uncomfortable that didn't really feel, you know, other situations I'd be nervous. But this conference really, you know, took it deep, did it one step at a time, and it really felt made me feel comfortable. It's made me more open and more aware, just to look at the bigger picture and things. You know, like, I'm not close-minded anymore. This conference has helped me identify areas that my community need to change in, such as how young ladies speak to each other, the derogatory names that we use against each other. You know, we might joke around with somebody, but we don't really know how that makes us feel inside, or we don't really know what it's really saying. We might not feel it's a bad thing, but just the outlook of other people, it doesn't really make us look like we are who we really are. I'm more confident. I can influence somebody and make them more positive about who they are. And I can also just encourage people to be who they are and learn more about their self like I did. Yes, I do see what I can do to make a difference in my community. I respect each young lady as who they are. I don't call them out their name. I don't treat them with any disrespect. I'm really open to how they feel. I'm open to their opinion. I'm open to their ideas. I really respect them. It's a great program. It allows for youth um, to have interaction. It allows for a young lady to be able to communicate with other young ladies who may not understand in a way that an adult would. Um, it allows them to be free to open up, to have discussions regarding social issues, regarding personal issues, um, and it allows them to be free in their thoughts to be able to share expression that they may not want to share with a mother. So I, I, I would definitely say it's a program that any mom should want to have their child participate in. Yes, because I feel as though it would just make me set higher standards for myself. I really want to go far in life and I think this program would just teach me how to love myself, which would take me way farther in life than anything else. I would say you're not too cool to join this program. You know, you're not too flawless that you can't learn anything else. This program would help you learn things that you would be amazed. I thought coming to this program, oh, I know how to carry myself. Oh, I know what it means to be a young lady. I know how to sit properly. I know how to answer proper questions. But there's always something you can learn. You're never too smart to learn anything. And I think this program will really help my friends be insightful and to understand that you can always learn something. You never have not enough room for improvement. You can always improve yourself. And this will be a great opportunity just to figure out who you are and what you can do in your community as far as growing and just learning how to be more um, positive towards people. If you have the mindset to do it and if you don't I think this program will help you so even if you're not as confident as some people might come because I, I am very confident but you, like I said earlier there's nothing that you can't learn so I think even if you're not as confident you feel like oh I don't want to be shy this program women come here and kids come here where they're all so excited and they're already ready they just need more steps to help them. No, You can start from any level you can change at any level. So join us here for the Young Women for Change program, the Oakland County Chapter.